Okay, this is a laptop. The first thing you have to do, you have to remove all the screws at the back of the laptop. You take out all the screws and you open the back because this keyboard is, uh, you need to fix it from, from inside. You know, you need to open the laptop all and fix from inside. So you have to take out the, all the screws first back of the laptop and before you can have access to remove the, the keyboard. Okay, so you have to take out all the screws first. And this laptop have different different type of screw okay the front screw here the four screw at the top here they are small small and the one at the back is the long one so when you are like when you remove them you have to know the kind of screw you remove and when you want to replace them back you make sure you replace the short screw at the front and the long long screw at the back okay if you miss the screw you put the long one at the front you will make the laptop uh have some the body will become like you see that something already open this side okay so make sure when you remove the screw you make sure you put it at the right place back where you remove it okay you have to watch all that one because not all the screw is the same after you remove all the screw okay there's another screw under this thing you have to open the ram side okay you open this one there's another screw here you need to take out before you remove the back cover. After I remove all the screw, okay, then you try to open the clip. Just try to open it like this. Okay. You have another screw here. That's why when you open it, don't force it so you can see another screw. You have another screw under this rubber. You just take it out, small screw. Then you check this one also. Because sometimes they put screw on the, the clip also. Okay, this side don't have, it's only one side half. Okay, and now you open the you open the cover. Okay. After you open it like this, okay. Now the first thing after the have to remove the battery. You have to remove the after you remove the battery you disconnect the LC you have to take out the motherboard remove everything you will leave only the speaker because the keyboard is under this side okay so now you remove the battery first make sure the inside screw put them different places don't mix it with the one outside remove the battery Take out the CD-ROM. Remove the SSD. You have to remove everything, okay? You just watch and see what I'm doing. You push the SSD, you remove it. Okay. Disconnect the speaker cable. Take out the motherboard screw. Remove the processor fan. And inside also the sum of the screw is not the same so the motherboard screw is shorter okay and the one for the battery and the how do you call it the addicts at the cd side is longer so you have to know all this one the difference okay then you have to remove this inch we want to take out the motherboard you remove this inch also the one inch because it's covered the motherboard so you take it out his own screw too is different it's white color Okay, you put them different places. Okay, then you disconnect the LCD cable. You just open it and pull it like this. You just pull it from the, the back, like that. Okay, then you disconnect the Wi Fi, uh, wi -fi cable. Like this. 
okay it's gonna the uh, the, the mouse cable it's gonna the keyboard cable okay then you take out the motherboard okay now you need to remove these other inches here because the metal is passed there okay you just uh, try to make do like you open it you open it like this okay then you remove this metal okay because you need to take out this the keyboard side okay you separate the screen to the one side okay now you need to take out the, this metal this metal is only one way you have to take it out you need to force trace it off because there is no screw on it is clip all the clip is there so you just force to open it okay this is the only way you can open it after you finish you have to fix them back with sodi iron just force to open it there's not a magic because there's no screw okay you have to force to just ace it up this is the only way you have to open it okay okay when you push this like this you just try to pull it firstly this is the only way you have to do it okay Okay, this is the only option you have. You just take it out like this because they never put screw on it. It comes like this. Okay, you remove this plastic. Okay, you take it out. This is the only option you have. When you finish, you have to fix it back with sodium. You see the way I'll do it. Okay. After you remove it like that, this is the keyboard. You take out the keyboard also. The same way also same option you have to force to remove it because there is no screw the same method just remove it like this okay this is the only way the only option you have you remove it because there is no screw on it Okay, after you finish now, you just clean clean the other five things before you replace the new uh, keyboard. Okay, after you clean everything, now it's time to fix the new keyboard. Okay, you just put it exactly like this. Make sure everything is like, up, put it very nice. Okay, you check and see if the keyboard is correspond very nice like this. Okay. Now you need to use the studio iron. You need to clip all this rubber one after the other you just clip them and press them so that the keyboard will rest properly use the studio line like this you be careful for this connector if the studio line touches connector the keyboard will damage okay so you just put on this on the rubber like this and you just press it with your hand so that the thing will close you put this other side also okay it's here also like this like this okay try to get all the four corner first before you do the other side make sure you rest the press the keyboard inside well before you put this in like this like this like this okay you do all the four corner first before you do the other middle the other side or the other side Like this okay like this and do the top here also okay after I do all the corner 
Then now you can do all the middle ones. Make sure you do them now one after the other. Make sure you do all the, the same thing like this. You just hold it like, like this. Okay, you make sure you do all the, the other rubber side. You have to do all so that the keyboard will fix properly. Okay, after you fix the keyboard, okay, now it's time to fix the, the metal on top of the keyboard also. You do the same thing also what you do to the keyboard, okay? So you just uh, put the, pass the keyboard cable, uh, cable on top of this, uh, inside this plastic. If not, you can take out the plastic also. After you finish, you just uh, fix, the, fix the, the plastic back, okay? So you just put the keyboard like this. I mean, so you just put the metal like this. Make sure you rest properly, okay? This one is just a plastic, you just pass it here. Okay. Okay, you do the same thing what you do to the keyboard. You have to fix all this rubber, okay? You start from the edge first. Just do it like this. Okay, you fix the other edge here also. Be careful for this cable. If you decide to enter this cable, the keyboard will damage, okay? Just do the same thing. You make sure you fix all the rubber everywhere, okay? After you fix everything like this, okay? Now it's time to fix everything back. Cop up, assemble everything back, okay? Just assemble everything back. You just uh, pass this. Uh, now you put the screen press and you just slide this one in like this. Just slide it in like this and close it, okay? Then you close this one, you fix this one inches first here. You replace the screw back you take out from the inches side this, this way. Make sure you put the make sure you put the screw where you see the arrow, where you see the X like this, no need to put screw there because the screw that is coming there is the one from outside. Okay. Okay. Okay, now you need to fix the motherboard. Just make sure you fix everything perfectly the same way how you take it. Okay, you push the keyboard, you fix the keyboard cable like this. You put the motherboard back very nice. Now you take it. Okay, you fix the keyboard cable inside the, the motherboard. You open it like this and put the cable cable. Okay, you fix it very nice and close it. Okay, and you fix the, the mouse cable. And close it. Fix the speaker. Okay, then you fix the network cable back exactly how you take it. You just pass pass it how you just take it. That's why when you open it, you have to watch how you open it so that you know how to fix it back. Okay. Okay, you fix it back to the Wi-Fi card. Okay. And now you close this other inches here. Okay. Then you replace the screw there also. Yeah, here, here also where the arrow is that you replace screw that side. Where you don't see any arrow, don't replace screw there. That means the screw that is coming outside from the back cover will come there. You only put the screw where you see the arrow. Okay. And you fix the LCD cable. Make sure you slide it inside. Very nice. You get the right position. Okay. You just slide it in. Make sure you make it straight. Don't bend it so you don't spoil the connector. Okay. 
now you need to fix back all the screw you take out from the motherboard not too much screw it's like three screw one in the middle and one on the processor fan here and this other side also the processor fan here also you put another one here okay And now you fix the CD-ROM. Okay, you replace the one screw back from the CD-ROM. Okay. Then you fix the addix SSD. Okay, you replace the two screw back you take from there, the shiny screw. Okay. After you finish, you fix this motherboard. USB motherboard here. You just connect, fix the connector perfectly, and close it. This motherboard don't have screw. The screw outside we fix on this motherboard. Okay. After you finish, you fix the battery back. The battery is the last one you're supposed to fix. Okay. You replace the two screws you take out from the battery. Okay. When you finish, you have to put the back cover now. You just fix the back cover exactly like this. You just fix, fix the clip. Then you replace all the screw where you take it. Don't mix the screw up. Okay. The long one, you know where you take them, and the short one, you know where you take them. Make sure you replace all the screw back. Okay. Make sure you replace all the long one first where you take them before you replace the short short one, so you don't mix up. Okay. Okay. Then you replace the one inside here. Don't forget it also before you put the cover. You put this cover. And you place this this one so screw is the short screw also. Don't put the long one so you don't spoil the motherboard. Okay, then you replace the other screw. After you finish everything, okay, you on the laptop. After you on the laptop, you go to Word. Okay, then you press the key and see if the keyboard is working. If all the spelling is coming all the keyboard is working the keyboard is good and i mean is okay hello guys if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel